Ron DeSantis delivered his second State of the State address to the Florida State Legislature uh, today, rather. And News Channel 8's Capitol Bureau reporter Mike Vasilinda has more. As of today, there were 3,393 bills filed, which means everyone has a wish list. But aside from the governor, very few members of the legislature are likely to get much at all. The governor says the operative word for the 2020 session is opportunity. This is Florida's season of opportunity. Over the course of 32 minutes, the governor encouraged lawmakers to continue funding over a half billion for water projects and Everglades restoration, but he did ask for new penalties for cities dumping sewage into streets and waterways. It's cheaper to violate the law and pay a nominal fine. This is unacceptable. And he pushed his plan to deregulate dozens of professions, including beauticians and barbers. Our citizens shouldn't need a permission slip from government in order to earn a living. New is his effort to pass in an employer-required E-Verify system. Our low-income workers also shouldn't have their wages depressed by cheap foreign labor. And he promoted his plan to give teachers raises so that no one makes less than 47.5. My plan will lead to a substantial pay increase for over 100,000 current teachers. Veering into a social agenda, he jumped on legislative leaders' push for new abortion legislation. I also hope that the legislature will send me this session the parental consent bill. And while there's certain to be some fierce debates over the next 60 days, this is an election year, an incentive for everyone to make friends and go home on time. Reporting for the state capitol, Mike Vassalinda, 8 on your side. Now, the governor did not mention funding visit Florida in his speech, but says he supports the agency's continuation. He also did not mention gun control or background check legislation, but afterwards called the so-called gun show loophole non-existent.